want to get ready to start the opening ceremony. We need quiet. Amen. Okay. We're going to open with a word of prayer first, and then we're going to go into the ceremony. Good afternoon, everyone. Let us pray at this time, and we invite all persons to be respectful and reverent of God as we offer prayer. Our Father, we thank you for this is the day that you have made. We give you praise for this opportunity whereby our children, the future of Anguilla, can come together to participate in this Ashley Brooks Road race. We pray that amongst all things, you will keep each and every one safe. Lord God, from all accidents, from any mishaps along the road, and we ask that we will have a good time this afternoon as the schools compete against one another. We give you praise for this day and we declare blessing over this event. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We're going to now have some remarks by Mr. Rogers for the um, athletic sports. Thank you, Cardi. Well, my remarks will be very brief. Um, as usual, we are here because the children of the late Ashley Brooks honor his legacy by continuing something he started many, many years ago. And without their interest and their input and their sponsorship, this event would not be possible. So I just want to take the opportunity on behalf of the Anguilla Amateur Athletic Association to thank them for what they do for the development of our athletes um, through this sponsorship. So, Connie, brothers, sisters, thank you ever so much. And I wish um, fair but fierce competitorship between all the schools this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. And I want to take this opportunity to thank you too for coming out every year. This year is 28 years of God faithfulness towards us having this road relay. Yesterday was my dad's birthday, so in celebration of his birthday, we always try to keep it close to the date of his birthday. So we want to give God thanks for his blessing towards us. I want to thank God for the parents, for the students, for the coaches, for the teachers, and everyone who comes out every year to make this event a success. And I want to thank my staff and everyone who works together so that we can pull this off. And I wish you a safe road relay and may the best team win. I declare the Ashley and Sons Road Relay open. Let's put our hands together. Can we, at this point in time, just have the rep, uh, a rep from each of the schools to come here, please?
Representing also homeschool. So once again, we are just awaiting the arrival of the police van that would be leading the children around the route. Lap. For each student, a complete lap around the block. They will go towards the south across the road by the Lansom, take it all the way across to the strip down past the turn left on the road by the St. Mary's. Then they would come down towards the roundabout and turn left again, coming back west across to the agricultural department and back to the Ashley supermarket. That's the route. We are also asking the officials and the teachers who are responsible for the children to ensure that the changeover zone is maintained. A relay is a very technical race and if you decide to hand the baton off outside of the zone for the changeover, it automatically disqualifies the team. So we are asking the children the zone is marked by a red line that looks back. So you can receive the baton anywhere inside of this area. Any baton receiving outside of this area is an automatic disqualification for the team. So this is your receive zone, boys and girls. Teachers who are actually working with the children note the changeover zone and ensure that it is followed to the letter. Anyone in the area who actually have seen the police van, can you please let them know that we are awaiting their arrival in order for the race to get underway. So if you see them driving anywhere through the area, can you flag them down and let them know we are ready to start. Also, we welcome those who are going to be joining us in the virtual world and following the race. Today we do have representation, it's going to be live streamed and we do have transportation that is going to be taking the camera around live so we will be able to follow the race as it moves through the valley area. What's the delay? Uh, police. No, the delay in terms of oh, a couple know. seconds. A couple seconds? Yeah. 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 Alright, because I just want to know if I can just use it to start the game. Would you give me the, the, the link of where? Yes. Yeah, sure. 
For those who are actually um, trying to follow it online, go to AI Live. So the website that you're going to be able to follow it live on would be AI Live. Should be able to see it online and follow the race as the youngsters move around the block. Okay, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. So they're just getting ready to start the race. And the race is off. So far, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Aurelia Keller Primary School and the Valley Primary School here in front. The Valley School runner right now is running off on the rest. We have the Maris Vanterpool Primary School runner. She's right now keeping a steady tempo, trying to catch a Valley School runner. So it's Valley Primary School, followed by Maris Vanterpool Primary School, followed by the Island Harbor Primary School. Fourth place, we have ATH. And look like Alan Allison in fifth place. Right next to us is the Vivian Vanderpool. Second place. The gap is a pretty close gap, gap between the Vanderpool Primary School and the Maris Vanderpool Primary School. It's first and second right here. Seems to be closing the gap a little bit, Darren. You think she's going to catch on the finish line? Yeah, I think the Maris Vanderpool Primary School uh, runner will catch her in the end. It will be a pretty close finish between those two. Yeah, so the Maris Vanderpool Primary School runner right now is picking up her pace. Valor School is looking a bit burnt right now. 
but she's coming closer. Right now they are neck and neck between each other. Neck and neck. Valor School Runner right now has eased up her pace a little bit. Right now the Maris Van der Poel student is taking over. She's in front right now. She's a bit tired. So right now, passing on the baton in front, it would be the Maris Van der Poel Primary School student right now. She's keeping a pretty good pace right here. Okay, so she's passing it on right now. She's passing on the bat on right now. Okay, that's the false pass right there. So ladies and gentlemen, just in case you're trying to find out, it's uh, Marish Van Der Poel Primary School in front right now. We don't know the name of this one, but she's keeping a pretty good tempo right here. Looking pretty good. Bella is about 100 meters behind. Also setting a very good pace. So right now we'll slow down a little bit to see the runners to the back, but so far this is the first place runner right now. So right here we have the Valor Primary School right now. She's in second. The gap is not so, so far between the two, but the Maris Van Der Poel student, she's running pretty well. Then we have the Adrian T. Hazel Primary School coming up in third place, looking pretty good. Then we have the Alvin Allison Primary School and then uh, Island Harbor. Island Harbor right now has just stopped. She has just, just stopped. This is Alvin Allison Primary School right here. Then we have the Adrian T. Hazel Primary School. That's Todd, right? I think that's Todd, yeah. I think so. Okay, so guys, we're going back up now to the front. Trying to get back up to, uh, I think, his Maris Van Der Poel Primary School. We have the Valley Primary School here in second. The gap is still the same, still the same. But uh, the Valley Primary School student is looking pretty strong here running. I think Valley, Valley would have closed on the gap slightly. Marge Van Der Poel is looking a bit bound right now. If the Valor School runner could accelerate a little bit more, she could probably catch up. So she's trying to bridge the gap right now between the two. We have the spectators here telling the Valor School student she should push it, push it. <laughs> but I know it's not an easy thing to be doing this run. So we're going up right now to Maris Van Der Poel Primary School. She's looking pretty good still. She's a bit tired, but she's looking good. I 
And so you guys can know this is uh, the first place runner right here. Actually, they were in second in the Maris Van de Poel runner for the first leg. She uh, passed the Valley School runner in the first leg. So she's trying to pick up the pace right now to pass it on to her teammate. She's passing it on, she's passing it on, and that's the pass right there. So it's Maris Van Der Poel, followed by the Valley Premier School right behind, not too far behind. The Valley School runner is looking pretty strong right here. She's keeping a nice tempo. I think she'll probably catch the Maris Van Der Poel uh, runner. I don't know how much she'd have left in the tank by the finish, but she's looking pretty strong. Pace right now is looking pretty strong. Her legs are moving pretty good. So it's Valley Primary School in second, followed by uh, we can't really see who's behind, but um, it's Marge Vanderpool in front and Valley Primary School. Okay, so she looks like she's getting a bit tired right now, but the gap is still close. So probably she could pick it up to the finish. I've just seen Agent T. Let's bang the corner there by the Carmel Village. So they're in third place. Okay, so it's Agent T. Hazel Primary School in uh, third place. Valip Primary School is in second. And uh, Maris Van Der Poel Primary School is in fourth. It's a pretty close gap between the Valley Primary School and the Maris Van Der Poel. I don't know if uh, the Valley School runner will catch her, but she's in striking distance enough. Okay, so she have just stepped up her pace and the Marge Van Der Poel Primary School uh, runner, she look like she's a bit burnt right now. She's suffering right now, uh, but the Valley School student, she's catching up. The gap has closed a good bit. We have spectators telling her, let's go, let's go. The gap is closing, the gap is closing. The gap is closing between uh, Maris Van Der Poel and Valley Primary School. So she has just stepped it up again. I think she will catch her. She will catch her. She will catch her, ladies and gentlemen. She will catch this uh, runner here in front. She has closed the gap. It'll be a pretty interesting finish between these two schools. Okay, so she has just stepped it up. She has just stepped it up.
Okay, so it's a pretty interesting run here. These two runners are dinging it right out. The Marish Vanderpool Primary School runner, her legs are a bit short, but she's keeping a good pace. I don't know if she would be able to keep it up. The speed that she's running at, I don't know if she would be able to keep this pace up. But the Valley Primary School runner, she's sailing away. She's running off on her. She's running off on her right now, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, she's getting a bit tired now. I could see the tiredness inside of her. Her pace has just slowed down a bit. Her pace has just slowed down, but the Valor School student as well, her pace has, slipped, uh, she has slowed down her pace right now as well. But I know the two of them are tired. Seem to be like a David and Goliath story right here. This little small runner, she's running pretty good. Surprised me a bit. The Valor School runner is slowing down right now, ladies and gentlemen. It's a David and Goliath story right here. Here it is, her coach is selling her ease up a little bit. Valor School runner right now is tired. She's tired, she's slowing down. Her pace is dropping rapidly, ladies and gentlemen. And this little one here from the Marsh Vanderpool Primary School, she's running off. Pretty surprising. You can't judge a book by the cover because this little one right here, she has just passed uh, the Valley Primary School. They came in on the second leg pretty close, but now she have just opened the gap. She opened the gap pretty wide right now. Vaughn, what's your take on, on this little one right here? Yeah, I think she looks like she could maintain the pace and get the win for, for Morris. But we can't count down barely as yet. Uh, she's still running a strong pace. But the gap does seem to be increasing a little bit. So not sure what's going to happen at the end as yet. Is this the last leg? Uh, I don't think this is the last leg. I think it's five legs. Oh, it's five legs. I okay. think it's five. This little runner right here is pretty amazing. Yeah. She's pretty amazing. When they started off, I thought she had no chance. Yeah, I thought so as well. Because I was watching her size, but yeah. small acts really do cut down big trees. Here we have the spectators cheering her on, cheering her on. She's a pretty good runner. She's amazing. I know her coach and her school would be pretty proud to see her coming around here to the finish. Those that are spectating live, they will know exactly what is going on. But those that are by the line who can't see the race, they will be pretty amazed to see the gap that she has. She's not even breathing heavy. I don't know who is this young one's trainer, but they have done a pretty good job with her. She's a good runner. She's a good runner. She's a very, very good runner. This little one has kept her pace right through. She has kept her pace right through. So we are coming back around now to the line, and I know people would be pretty surprised to see the gap that she has opened between herself and Valor School. And she's stepping it up right now, ladies and gentlemen. She's stepping it up to pass it on. She's stepping it up to pass it on. The Maris Van der Poel has just passed it on. They are right now in front. Hey! 
This last leg is setting up blistering pace. I definitely don't think anybody will be able to catch up. I don't think so. I think we can confidently say, Vaughn, that the Maris Vanderpool Primary School will be winning the ladies' race. Seems to me like she's gonna lap some of the runners as well. Yes, I think that's. Um is that Island Harbor from that we see running? Just on uh, the Island Harbor is turning the corner up there by Ken. Okay. But um, there's a runner right here, just in front of oh, her. Oh yes, yes, you're all correct. Yeah, so I think she will be lapping her. Yeah. Okay, I'm seeing Valis behind her also, so still maintaining the distance, but also setting up pretty good pace. Okay, so right ahead in the white shot, we have a runner here, and she is going to lap this runner. I think Valley is running very strong. I think she's definitely going to close the gap. I don't know if she'll be able to beat her, but she'll definitely close the gap down. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. She's lapping a runner right now. She's lapping one of the runners. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, the Maris Vanderpool Permanent School. This young lady here is keeping a pretty steady tempo as well. She's looking pretty comfortable in front. Then we have followed by the Maris Vanderpool Permanent School is a Valley Permanent School uh, runner. She's not too far behind. We'll slow down right now to see if we could uh, show you guys the distance between the two. It's not a pretty far gap. Yeah, Valley is running very strong. And there you have it. Close race, close That's the Valley Primary School runner right there. She's trying to pick it up because the gap that they had between each other, it was a pretty big one. It's about what, 50 meters? About, about 50 meters. It looks like Maris just put on after bonus, which is increasing the gap a little bit again. There we have a supporter with her trying to give her a little bit of encouragement. That's a valid primary school runner right there. Seems like her mom is actually cheering her on as well, trying to encourage her. Her baton yeah, has just dropped. Better. Her baton just dropped. So she's picking it back up again. She's trying to come back at it again. So that has set her back a little bit. The Valley Primary School runner is... So there we back. have it. Maris Vanderpool, as I predicted, just took the first place, followed by the Valley Perma School. There you have it. Taking the top spot there for the girls and 
and followed by the Valley Primary Golden Horses. So the Dragons have actually taken off the horses at this point in time and we wait to see what the boys are going to be doing in this particular race. But lots of action here at the Valley and the Valley Basin and lots of action here at the Ashley Brooks Road Wheeling 2023. That's what we're here looking at. The school, the school is this? Alright, so home school is oh, home school. Have, uh, lap. Okay. Finish the race, that's it. There's no stopping here. We want all our schools to finish off this race. Mm -hmm. You wanna go around? And so we're gonna encourage them all the way around. I'm begging anyone within the soul okay. of this do not encourage any of those athletes to stop. Because we have a culture in Angola where we like to say, girl, you may as well stop. Everybody will reach finish. Let's go. It's now Adrian T. Or all of the last one. in the bronze medal position. So we are waiting still for the rest of the schools to arrive at the finish line. The last school being yeah. the Pope School. I've just started their last lap, and so we're gonna wait until they actually get home before we begin the other race. We are here awaiting the rest of our children. Look at this. Thank you. 
you and the competitors, your adrenaline kicks in when you have someone in sight and you can chase them down. But when you're in a lone ranger, it takes a certain amount of grit to keep you going. We're going to ask all the boys, all the boys who are going to be running in the road relay, to please assemble to the side of the starting line. All the teams for the boys, we're asking you to assemble. She's right there coming. She's right there coming, ladies and gentlemen. So she has done well on her own. And she is going to finish. Next one. But caging all the boys, all the boys who are participating, the teams that are going to be represented, we are asking you to gather at the starting line. So here comes, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the final competitor, the home school, as she finishes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome her home. Welcome her home. I think she has done really well. That's what it takes. Champions are not always winners, and winners are not always champions. A true champion is usually from the heart. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we're just we about to start the, the boys' race. Teams are being put together. Our sincere apology on uh, not following so up order, on the rest runners. Unofficially, it would be Morris Van Tepool, followed by Valley Turner, followed by Adrian T, followed by Aurelia Kelly, followed by Alvin Allison, Vivian Vanderpool, and uh, Home School. That would be the unofficial order of the girls really. starting line we have home school we have Valley we have Adrian T we have Morris Van Pool there's Vivian Van Pool there's Aurelia Kelly and uh, we are just awaiting the representative from Alvin Hansen and he's also on the line on the line is an order from the tent to the shop it's the home school, Valley Primary, it's Adrian T. Marsh Matt Bull, Vivian Matt Bull, Rita Kelly, Alvin Allison. To the marks. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the boys race has just begun. So we have here in the back, Alvin Allison Primary School uh, in the white. It's home school. Uh, right in front of home school, it's the Adrian T. Hazel Primary School. Then we have the Maris Vanderpool Primary School. Uh, Island Harbor. Valor Primary School, and in front it's the Aurelia Keller Primary School. The boys are pretty close. They're starting to be, uh, be a gap right now between the guys. Um, we have the Valor Primary School setting the tempo right now. Aurelia Kelly is looking a bit bone. Marish Vanderpool Primary School right behind of him. So it's first Valley, second Aurelia Kelly. Right now it's going to be passed by the Marish Vanderpool Primary School. Uh, would be in fourth is the Adrian T. Hazel Primary School and uh, the Island Harbor. So 
looks like Bali is starting to distance the rest of the group. So right now these four runners right now, which would be the Maris Van Der Poel, Adrian T. Hazel Primary School, uh, Aurelia Kelly, and um, the Vivian Van Der Poel. That's Island Harbor. They are right now in a pretty close range, but Valley School is just running away from them. We right now step up the tempo a little bit to go up to uh, the Valley Primary School. Showing you guys the gap between them. This is the Valley Primary School runner right here right now. He's setting a pretty strong tempo right now. He looks pretty strong. Very, very good pace here by this runner right here. Spectators is cheering him on, the Valley Primary School. This is the first leg of the boys race, and we have uh, the Valley Primary School right now in front. I'll slow down a little bit just so that you guys can see the gap between first and second place. That's Valley right there, Road Primary School, Adrian T. Hazel. Right now in second, he's stepping up his tempo to catch up. It's a pretty close gap between them. He's stepping it up, trying to finish strong. The Valley School runner is looking a bit burnt. I don't know if he would have anything in the tank to finish, but um, he's maintaining his pace. Adrian Tiesel looking a bit tired right now. He used a lot of energy to try to bridge that gap. Their second leg would have to do a bit of work to catch up. Okay, he has just stepped it up, ladies and gentlemen. Passed it on to Valley, so Valley just got their pass. Adrian T. Hazel Primary School just got their pass. So it's first and second right now, ladies and gentlemen, we are covering. We are here with the second place uh, runner. We are here with the second place runner from the Adrian T. Hazel Primary School. In front, not too far up ahead of him, is the uh, Valley Primary School runner. coach right now is telling him to just maintain just maintain the gap is not too far between the two runners so we'll slow down just a little bit more ladies and gentlemen to show you guys the third place our runner just so that you guys could see the gap between so it's in first, we have, a, uh, we have the Valley Primary School, second, Adrian T. Hazel Primary School. This right here is the Vivian Van Der Poel Primary School. Aurelia Kelly Primary School. So there we have it, first, second, third, and fourth. Aurelia Kelly is in fourth. Uh, the Vivian Van Der Poel, they are in third. Adrian T. Hazel, second, Valley Primary School, first. Maris is just a little bit, about 50 meters behind Aurelia Kelly, so I think that would be what, fifth place? That would be fifth, yeah. So there we have it, Aurelia Kelly is look like he is trying to pass right now the Vivian Van Der Poel runner, and he has passed him. Uh, he's trying to catch right now to the Adrian T. Hazel Primary School runner, that would be putting him into second. But Adrian T. has just looked back, he stepped up his pace a little bit. The Valley Primary School runner, he has a pretty good piece.
So let me give let me go let me give you guys uh, the line out again. It's Adrian uh, Adrian T Hazel in second, Valley Primary School in fourth, Aurelia Keller right now is in third, and we have the Vivian Vanterpool in fourth. Aurelia Keller right now is picking up on the agent. He is a runner. This is for second place. He's picking up on him right now, ladies and gentlemen. Valley Premier School has a pretty decent gap. They will definitely pass on their baton in front. The spectators is cheering him on. Aurelia Kelly has just stepped it up. He has stepped up the tempo, but Adrian T. Hazel is not leaving him out of his sight. He's not leaving him out of his sight. If these two guys run against each other like this, they will catch the Valley Primary School runner. At least they will bridge the gap. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good between these two runners. Looking pretty good between these two runners. They're fighting it out. They're fighting it out. They're fighting it out, ladies and gentlemen. But road school, Adrian T. Hazel, is look like he's walking away on him. He's walking away on him a bit. Aurelia Kelly is not leaving him go. He's not leaving him go. And they're actually closing the gap on the Valley Premier School runner right now, ladies and gentlemen. He's actually closing the gap. And Aurelia Kelly has just stepped it up. He has just stepped it up. Adrian Tiesel right now, he's losing ground. He's losing ground. He's losing ground. He's losing ground, ladies and gentlemen. He's losing ground, and the gap is opening up right now. He's losing ground, but he's still finishing strong for Todd. So Valor Primary School just passed it on in front. Aurelia Kelly for second. Adrian T. Hazel for Todd. And it's off, ladies and gentlemen. So Adrian T. Hazel Primary School for the Todd. Uh, Aurelia Kelly in second. Valor Primary School in fourth. The Valor Primary School runner, ladies and gentlemen, is looking pretty strong. He's holding a really, really good tempo. So it's Aurelia Keller right now in second, trying to keep a steady tempo. Right behind of him is the Adrian T. Hazel Primary School. He's keeping a steady tempo as well. He's actually catching the Aurelia Keller Primary School runner. And they're right beside each other, ladies and gentlemen. Adrian Tiesel is actually walking away from the Aurelia Keller Primary School runner right now. He's walking away from him. So Adrian Tiesel has just opened a gap between himself and uh, Aurelia Keller Primary School runner right now. Um, he looks like he's trying to catch the uh, Valley Primary School runner. He's trying to catch him right now. this pace right now with what he's running at ladies and gentlemen I could say he could close the gap a bit I don't know if he would be able to catch him maybe he could surprise me but he's looking pretty good this is second place right here agent T. Hazel Primary School in first we have still the Valley Primary School Aurelia Kelly is not too far behind There we have it, he's stepping up his pace a little more. Seems to be catching up, he seems to be catching up to that Valor School uh, runner right there in front. But it's not a pretty far distance between the two. The Valor School runner, he's trying to maintain a tempo. But uh, Adrian T. Hazel Primary School right now is catching him. 
he's actually catching him. I don't know if the spectators would be uh, a little motivation for him to step up his tempo, but he's looking pretty good. A bit tired right now. A bit tired, just trying to maintain that gap. But Adrian Tiesel Primary School is catching him. He is catching him. Adrian Tiesel right now is gaining ground on him. He's gaining ground on him, ladies and gentlemen. He's right now gaining ground on him. And there you have it, Adrian Tiesel right now is passing him. I don't know if he has the energy to catch back. Okay, he's stepping it up. He's stepping it up, but Adrian Tiesel is in front right now. He's in front right now, he's taking over the lead. Here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Adrian T. Hazel has now passed on the baton, and that's it right there. Adrian T. Hazel has just passed it on, ladies and gentlemen. They are in front right now, followed by the Valley Primary School. It's a pretty close gap. So Valley is trying to play catch up here right now, ladies and gentlemen. He's trying to play catch up right now, and he's catching pretty fast. I don't know what's his energy level like for finishing, but uh, he put out a lot of, lot of energy there to try to catch that gap, try to close the gap, and actually he did. As you can see, he did close the gap between him. He has opened the gap now for himself. Adrian T right now in second again, ladies and gentlemen. He's keeping a pretty steady tempo for the speed that the Valley School runner took off with. I don't know if he could maintain that pace, but if he can, that's good going. So it's the Valley Primary School followed by the Adrian T. Hazel Primary School. Coach is telling him to maintain, maintain. With the speed that the Valor School runner is going with, I don't know if he will be able to catch him back because he's just maintaining a steady pace. You would have to pick it up a bit more if you want to bridge the gap between the two. Uh, but Valor School is looking pretty good. He's looking pretty good. He's maintaining his, uh, his lead right now. He started out in second. He's right now in fourth. This is a young man right here for Valley Primary School. We don't know their names, but uh, he's a pretty strong runner. So this is Valley Primary School right here, ladies and gentlemen. We'll slow it down right now to try to see if we could uh, cover the second place runner, which would be Adrian Hazel Primary School. So there you have it, Adrian Hazel Primary School in second. Uh, we don't see any other runners as yet, so we are going back up right now. It's closing the gap on Valley, you think? Uh, I think he's closing it a little bit, but it's not enough to finish right beside him. Which, which leg is this? The fourth leg? Uh, I think the third. Third leg, I think okay. so.
if the Adrian T. Isel Primary School runner have a little more uh, inside of the tank, he might be able to bridge the gap a little closer, but I don't think he'll be able to finish with the Valley School runner. At this pace, you won't be able to finish with him. Because normally going at the turn, there's motivation, so sometimes you normally get a little sprint there. And as I said, the Valley School runner right now, he's uh, passing it on in front. He's passing it on in front, so there you have it. Valley School is passing it on right now. There you have it. So Valley School uh, just passed on the baton. Adrian T. Hazel has just hand off the ears. He has just handed off the ears, Adrian T. Hazel. There you have it, second place right now. He's trying to catch up. From the looks of the young ladies race, we won't underestimate this little one here. He's looking pretty good. He has a pretty good tempo right here. This is the Adrian T. Hazel Primary School. Right ahead of him, we have the Valley Primary School. He has a good bit of work to do to try to close that gap because it's a pretty big gap. But um, he's running at a fair enough pace where he can see his opponent. The coach is telling him to maintain his pace, maintain. So we'll take it up a notch, ladies and gentlemen, just to show you guys the gap between the Valley Primary School runner and the Adrian T. Hazel Primary School runner right now. This is a gap between the two runners. Here you have the Valley School runner. Valley School opened a pretty good gap right there. They were much closer, but um, the Adrian T. Hazel Primary School runner, he has last ground. Spectators are cheering him on. Spectators are cheering him on. This is a young, this is a young man right here. Here we have uh, some spectators telling him to breathe. Swing his arms, swing his arms. Some is, that, some is advising him to run to the edge of the road. I don't know if it's for a little advantage, but um, he's running pretty good. Some is telling him to finish strong, finish strong. But I guess he will finish strong because right now he's here in front. Spectators are cheering him on, they're clapping him on. So there you have it, the Valley Primary School. Valley Primary School, Valley Primary School in force. Spectators are rejoicing, ladies and gentlemen. They are rejoicing right now. He stepped up his tempo. He stepped it up. He stepped it up. He stepped it up, ladies and gentlemen. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it right there. So ladies and gentlemen, we will try to go back around to see if we can see any of the other runners, ladies and gentlemen.
should go yeah, through there. Cut me through there. Yeah, we don't cut through there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are. We won't go the full route. We'll cut through here and see if we could uh, get to the other runners right now. You know what I'm saying? One just up the road. So here we have the Aurelia Kelly. We know for sure that Adrian T. Hazel Primary School was in second. So um, I think the line out is Valley Primary School, or uh, Adrian T. Hazel Primary School, Aurelia yeah. Kelly Primary School. Here Maris. right now we're looking at the Marish Van Primary School runner right now. So Maris Van Der Poel Primary School, I think would be fourth. fourth yeah. yeah, he's in fourth place right now, ladies and gentlemen. Right up ahead of him, I don't know if uh, the camera will pick him up, but um, it's the Aurelia Keller Primary School right up ahead of him. He won't be able to catch him, but um, he will successfully maintain his fourth place. So there you have it, Maris Van Der Poel Primary School, ladies and gentlemen. He's coming in for fourth place right now. Fourth place for Maris Van Der Poel Primary School. That's fourth place right there, ladies and gentlemen. So ladies and gentlemen, we are just waiting uh, for Vivian and Alwyn Allison. Incomplete would be home school. Yeah, yeah. I want some water. So we should be seeing the last set of runners because the ambulance is right there. And so the last set of runners are on their way toward the finish line with about uh, 150 meters to go. So we can go ahead and bring them home and welcome them home, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes Vivian. He has crossed the finish line. And uh, there's Alvin Allison to, uh, to just complete his race. I think they all did very well. I we okay, here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Bring him home, bring him home. It's Alwyn Allison. And he brings to completion the boys, the primary school boys, 2023 Ashley Road Race. Beautiful running there. He has finished. One thing I must tell you that these youngsters have to be mentally strong as much as they are physically strong. So it takes a certain amount of mental strength for them to stay in the race and finish their race. So ladies and gentlemen, give it up for all these primary school children who have just taken us through the We are now going to ask the boys for the cycling. The boys for the cycling. No, sorry, for the cycling. Girls for the cycling part of this race. We're asking all the girls for the cycling race to assemble at the starting line. All the, all the girls and your mates, we're asking you to move to the starting line for the bicycle race. On your marks. That would not be. Well, it was a tactic that we were hoping would work and hasten the footsteps of all those who were supposed to be in this race. We'll put it on the ground.
Você viu o Paulo? Você viu o Paulo? Schools. We have, yeah, we have. So we only have representation from five schools. So there's more schools on their way, but we have on the lineup, the starting lineup, Brilia Kelly. We have Trinity. We have Valley Primary. And we have Vivian Vantapool, and they should be joined shortly by the Morris Vantapool Primary School. Just awaiting the Morris Vantapool School to sort out their rider. So right now, in this race, we do not have representation from Alwyn Allison and the home school. Once again, if you are following and you want to follow the events here at the Ashley, Brooks uh, Road Relay Road Races. Join us on YouTube hey, hey, on hey. AI Live, and that's where you're going to see the live coverage of what's taking place here. The Riders are under the starter's instructions. One, two, set, go! And they're out and they're off and we can see Mars. And the race is off, ladies and gentlemen. Right now we have a uh, Maris Vanderpool Primary School in force, closely followed by oh my goodness, oh my, two crashes right there, two crashes. Adrian T Hazel is down, and uh, uh, Vivian Vanderpool Primary School rider is down. Adrian T Hazel is down. I don't know if she will continue. She has to, but um, she's down. We'll go up right now to see if we could uh, follow the rest riders. So Adrian T. Hazel right now would be um, in the back, ladies and gentlemen, because she fell, as well as the Vivian Vanderpool Primary School uh, rider. She fell as well, but she got up and she continued to ride. So there you have her right there. She fell, a pretty hard fall she got, but um, she's continuing. Pretty strong of her. We don't know if she got any uh, damages, but she's riding. We'll try to head on up to the front to give you guys a bit of coverage. There you have now uh, the Aurelia Kelly Primary School uh, rider. She would be in third place, I think. So there you have your third place rider, ladies and gentlemen, for the ladies. She's pretty tired, but um, she's still going. We'll try to head on up now to get to the, the front, to the Valley Primary School. And the uh, Morris Vanderpool Primary School. So there we have Valley Primary School right now, ladies and gentlemen. Valley Primary School in second place. Morris Vanderpool Primary School in first place. 
spectators is here cheering her on. They're cheering her on right now, ladies and gentlemen. She's about to pass on this bike right now. She's about to pass it on right now. She's about to pass it on right now. She just fell. Okay, so that was a fall there by the Valley Premier School, but they have just passed it on right now, ladies and gentlemen. It has put them back a bit, but um, Maris Van Pool rider, she's not pretty, she's not really riding so fast, so I think probably we might have a catch up here. Valley Premier School, her foot is slipping off the pedals, she's losing control, but um, she's going pretty good. This is Valley Premier School, foot is slipping off the pedals, but she's gaining grounds on a Maris Van Der Poel Premier School. She's gaining grounds on Maris Van Der Poel Premier School right now, ladies and gentlemen. So this is fourth and second. Just to leave you guys know, fourth and second, Maris Van Der Poel in fourth, Valley Premier School in second, the Valley School rider right here, she's, her foot is coming off the pedal straight, but she's still maintaining that speed. She's actually gaining grounds on her competitor right in front. She's gaining on her, she's gaining on her. She's gaining on her right now, ladies and gentlemen. Losing a bit of control. But she's catching up, she's catching up. Foot is coming off the pedal straight, but she's catching up. She's catching up, wobbling a bit. So there you have the Valley Premier School, second place, foot coming off the pedal straight. Uh, I think they would need a bit more practice in terms of uh, the bicycle so they could get a bit more bike handling. Nothing is wrong with their bikes, but um, they're a bit shaky on the bikes because of lack of bike handling. Valley School rider right here, trying to bridge the gap between herself and uh, Maris Van Der Poel. This is first and second right here, ladies and gentlemen. First and second right here. I'll go up now to show you the first place rider. Just to show you guys um, the speed that she is doing. pretty fast but um she's still in the lead because of the good pass that was given to her she's maintaining her gap she's maintaining her gap ladies and gentlemen so there you have it this is uh the first place rider right here maris van der poel Premier school she's gonna pass it on right now she's passing it on in front Slowing it down, handing it off. That's the handoff right there. We'll wait a bit just to see the second handoff. Vivian Vanterpool Premier School. Vivian Cross. Vivian has crossed and coming to second place. Do we have another rider? Okay, that's the Valley Premier School rider right there. Valley Premier School, Valley Premier School. Aurelia Kelly Premier School. Pretty hectic. I think the officials were saying it's um, a violation. I don't know if it was for the Valley Premier School passing it on outside of the uh, the lines which were given but um here we have valley primary school in third place uh aurelia kelly would be in second and um the marriage vanderpool primary school ladies and gentlemen would be in first place So there we have it here, 
that's Valley Primary School. We're right now looking at Aurelia Kelly Primary School, ladies and gentlemen. Aurelia Kelly Primary School. I think she's in second. This is second place right here. We'll try to make our way up to the front to see if we can... We'll try to make our way right now up to the front to see if we can catch up with our Marish Vanderpool Primary School. Pretty big gap between the riders. Okay, so we won't catch up with the Marish Vanderpool rider. Pretty far in front. So um, we'll try to see if we can go by the line and wait for the rest riders. Just so you guys can know, Adrian T. Hazel, uh, their rider. You don't want to go to the fell? to catch them up? Yeah, Adrian. Uh, this is the last lap. Adrian T. Hazel, uh, rider fell. So I don't know if they will continue, if they would allow it, but uh, they fell. Trying to make our way down to the start finish line right now. So, guys, we won't be able to catch the Maris Van de Vol Primary School. One more, okay. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. So, we're waiting right now, ladies and gentlemen, to see the second place person. We'll wait for the passing on and then we'll uh, try to walk our way back up to the front. Okay, so Valley Primary School is setting up right now. They're in second place, setting themselves up for the passing on. That's the pass on there for second. Passing it on to Valley Primary School right now, ladies and gentlemen. We are off with the Valley Primary School. They're in second. Maris Van Der Poel Primary School in first place. A pretty big gap between the riders. Maris Van Der Poel, I think, will take the first place home today for the girls. Here we have the Valley Primary School. As you guys know it, they're in second place right now. Maris Van Der Poel Primary School in first place. Valley Primary School for second. is pretty spaced out ladies and gentlemen we won't be able to get back up to the first place uh, rider but just to let you guys know it is the Marish Van Der Poel Primary School rider in front we are right here with the second place rider which is Valley Primary School I think there's one more leg after this I think there's one more after this so um We're here right now, we are following her, trying to get down to the start finish line to see her pass it on. So that's Valley Primary School. What we'll do ladies and gentlemen is try to see if we take a detour to see if we could get on over to Maris Van Der Poel Primary School in first place. We'll try to take the detour. Spectators is cheering her on. They're telling her, let's go, let's go. So ladies and gentlemen, that's second place right there, Valley Primary School. We are taking a detour, trying to see if we could uh, get on over to the first place rider. 
We'll take this detour here just to get across to you guys, the first place rider. So just that you guys don't be confused, we took a detour just to get across to uh, our first place rider, which would be Marish Venterpool Premier School. So we'll wait here to show you guys um, the first place rider. Wow. So right here, spectators is telling us that the uh, Marish Venterpool Premier School rider has already gone so just maybe we might have to turn back around oh it's a big, big but big, that's big. a big big gap ladies and gentlemen yeah. so the first place has actually beaten us to uh to the punch first place right now is actually finishing there you have valley primary school right there for second so we got beat to the punch, ladies and gentlemen. Um, first place has actually, um, they are actually on their way to the finish right now. So as I said, we won't, we won't be able to catch Marriage Vanderpool Primary School rider. And that is so, we won't be able to catch them. So we turned back to try to see if we could get to them. It wasn't possible. They are right now going to the finish right now. place right there Aurelia Kelly Primary School ladies and gentlemen third place Aurelia Kelly Primary School Valley Primary School in second so we turn back and we are actually following the third place rider right now a bit confusing but um we are following the third place rider right now and that would be Aurelia Kelly Primary School Maris Vanderpool maintaining their force uh, Valley Primary School in second and Aurelia Kelly Primary School in third. As for Adrian T. Hazel Primary School, I don't know if they have um, gotten to continue. Um, and Vivian Vanderpool, I'm not too sure. But first, second, and third place would be first, Maris Vanderpool, second, Valley Primary School, and in third, we have right here with us Aurelia Kelly Primary School. She's looking pretty good, trying to keep her pace. She's slowing down, ladies and gentlemen, but she's trying to make it to the start finish line right now. pace is not so bad but she won't be doing any catching up right now she won't be able to catch up to anyone right now she's just gonna maintain right now with her third place so for those of you that are wondering uh, we lost coverage in terms of the first place rider which would have been the Maris Vanderpool Primary School um, we know for sure that the Valley Primary School was in second we turned back to try to get up in front but it wasn't possible so right now we are here with the Aurelia Keller Primary School rider right now ladies and gentlemen she's actually in third place So there you have it, Aurelia Keller Primary School, third place, Valley Primary School, second place, uh, Maris Vanderpool in fourth. There 
you have it. Very good riding there by you also, Aurelia Kelly. Just because we are changing bikes for the ah, yeah. EPS. Okay, no problem. Then. On the line already, we have the, the Valley Primary, we have the Green Green Team. No problem. We have uh, the Marshmallow Pool and we have the Vivian Band Pool. Is it going to be the same five schools or is it okay? Alvin Allison has representation. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. So we do have representation from the Alvin Allison Primary School. Just gonna announce that the riders who are 
riding along with the competitors. We're asking you not to leave with the station until they are literally across by the Valley Primary School and do not get too close to the riders. All right, everyone is ready, everyone is in position. So guys, all you're gonna hear is set and go, all right? There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The race is off for the boys. Adrian T. Hazel right now has stepped up the pace. He's gone with a pretty fast pace, ladies and gentlemen. We have Alvin Allison, uh, Primary School, in the back. Alvin Allison, Primary School, is in the back. Vivian Vanterpool, Primary School would be in fourth, fifth, he's tired, he's slowing down right now, Adrian T. Hazel Primary School still in front, not by far though, we'll try to get around right now to get to this force. Valley Primary School, Aurelia Kelly Primary School, Maris Vanderpool Primary School, and Adrian T. Hazel Primary School. Adrian T. Hazel right now is in front. Pretty strong rider, but Maris Vanderpool is gaining ground on him. Basically right now they are out of the saddle. He's out of the saddle fighting to try to get in there. He's born right now. He's born, he's born, he's born. He's born, but he's right there. Foxen trying to get back in. Foxen trying to get back in. Adrian T. Hazel right now, he's a bit tired, but he's out of the saddle right now, ladies and gentlemen, and he's just foxed off. Just foxed his bike off. Right now he's going, he's going. This is first place here for you. Adrian T. Hazel, I think he's a pretty strong rider. He's a pretty strong rider, ladies and gentlemen. Trying to keep his first place, but uh, Maris Vanderpool is right behind him. He stopped for a good long time, so Maris gained ground on him. But he has opened back the gap just now. He's opened it back to the finish. I like the competitiveness between those two schools. Okay, he's passed it on right now. Passed it on, passed it on. Ah, a bit of a trip up. A bit of a trip up, ladies and gentlemen, but it's okay. A bit of a trip up between the two. Normally in cycling, we call this an attack. Maris went to pool primary school. He looked like he's attacking, but it's not getting anywhere. Adrian T. Hazel is still in his saddle, and he's riding off. He's trying to ride him off. These guys are holding a pretty steady tempo right here. Pretty steady tempo. First and second, Adrian T. Hazel Primary School and Maris Vanterpool Primary School. Adrian T. Hazel is in the saddle, meaning that he's on his seat. And Maris Vanterpool is out of the saddle. He's off of his seat, foxing, trying to pass him. Okay, attack, attack, attack. And he stopped. He stopped. Maris Vanterpool in front, Adrian T. Hazel legging behind of him. Legging behind of him, ladies and gentlemen. Foxen trying to catch back in. Foxen trying to catch back in, but he's going, he's going. Pretty tight race, pretty tight race between first and second. Maris Vanterpool and Adrian T. Hazel Primary School. One of the riders seem to be pretty strong in the saddle, on the seat, and Juan is a better foxer. But as far as I can see, the rider for Adrian T. Hazel, he can't really fox his bike because his, uh, his seat is pretty high. He's a bit shorter for this bike, but he's still staying there. He's a pretty strong rider. Adrian T. Hazel looking good, looking good, looking good. Maris is sailing away a little bit on him. I don't know if he will give a little extra kick. 
but Maris is sailing away for him. Okay, he is just stand up there. Attack, attack. He won't be able to pass him, but he's catching him up. This is going to be a pretty close pass on right now. Pretty close pass on right now between these two riders. Adrian T. Isle and Maris Van Pool. Okay, let's watch the passing on for Force in second place. Passing it on, passing it on. Passing it on. Adrian T. Hazel versus Maris Van Der Poel, Primary School. Force in second place, ladies and gentlemen. Force in second. Adrian T. is out of the saddle. Trying to catch back up. Trying to catch back up with his... Uh, his partner left him off. So there we have it. Adrian T. Hazel Primary School in second place. And uh, Maris Van Der Poel Primary School in fourth. Let's see if Adrian T would have that little extra kick to close the gap and pass Maris Van Der Poel. I don't know if it would be possible, but um, he's gaining ground right now. He's gaining on him. He's out of the saddle, trying to catch him. Maris is just keeping a steady pace. Not too far of a gap between the two riders, but um, Adrian T is actually slowing down every time he uh, foxes. Feeling a little motivated every now and then he would fox off of his seat. Trying to gain ground, but he's he's still a little distance off. Adrian T. Hazel is catching him up. He's catching him, he's catching him. Maris is out of the saddle. Not too strong of an attack, but um he's riding good still. These two riders right here are fighting it out, ladies and gentlemen. They are fighting it out. They are fighting it out. Adrian T. Hazel look like he's giving up a bit. He's giving up a bit, ladies and gentlemen. So the, the gap will open back for the two riders. The gap open back up a little. We don't know if Adrian T. will give a little kick just to the finish. Just to pass it on to his teammate, we don't know. Okay, so there you have it. Maris Van Der Poel still maintaining the force. Adrian T. Hazel right alongside of him, trying to pass on. Aurelia Kelly right there is behind of us. Um, they just passed it on. Aurelia Kelly. Adrian T and Maris is right now fighting it out. Adrian T just took over for Maris. They're neck and neck with each other. But um, I definitely think that the Adrian T rider is in front for now. So Adrian T is old primary school and Maris Van Der Poel primary school are fighting it out right now, ladies and gentlemen. Maris just took back over. He just took over again. He's in front. So Maris back in front. Adrian T. Hazel back in second. Maris is sailing away. He's sailing away, ladies and gentlemen. He's sailing away. Adrian T, his foot just came off his pedal, causing him to lose a little more ground. I don't know if he have a little more stamina inside of him to fox. Okay, he's out of his saddle. He's out of the saddle for a bit. Trying to catch up. Trying to play catch up. Trying to play catch up, ladies and gentlemen. He's burnt, but he's riding hard. Maris Van Der Poel just turning those legs steady, 
we'll show you guys the distance between the two. Adrian T is a bit burnt. I think he's discouraged right now. So uh, the gap would open a bit more now. Here we have our first place rider right here. This is the first man right here, Maris Vanderpool from the school. Keeping a steady tempo. Looking pretty good. There we have it, there we have it, there we have it. Passing it on, passing it on. Adrian T. Hazel passing on. Adrian T. out of the saddle, Foxen trying to catch up. This is the final lap, ladies and gentlemen. We are here right now looking at second place and first place. Maris Vanderpool Primary School in first, Adrian T. Hazel Primary School in second. We don't know if he will be able to maintain this pace, but um, he's looking pretty strong. This is second place right here. Let's see what would be the changing factor right now between these two riders. If Adrian T. Hazel Primary School could keep this pace up, probably he might catch him and bring home the fastest school. Let's see. Looking a bit strong right now. He's foxing, he's out of his saddle, fighting to try to catch up. Fighting to try to catch up. Adrian T. Hazel Primary School is fighting to try to catch up to bridge that gap. I don't know if it will be possible, but um, he's trying his best. Okay, PS is closing in. Aurelia Keller Primary School is closing in. Adrian T is out of his saddle, fighting, trying to get in there. He's fighting, trying to get in there. He's fighting, trying to get in, ladies and gentlemen. He's a pretty strong rider, but uh, he doesn't have what it takes to keep this uh, tempo. So Maris Vanderpool, ladies and gentlemen, I can fairly predict and say that Maris Vanderpool Primary School will be uh, coming in in force. Right behind of the Adrian T. Hazel rider is um, Aurelia Kelly. So we don't know who will be getting second place, but we know for a fact Maris Vanderpool Primary School will be taking home the first place today. So we're heading on up. We are walking our way up right now. This is actually Maris Vanderpool Primary School. He's in first place coming into the finish. First place coming in right now, Maris Vanderpool Primary School. Looks like we're really with a best belly. And that's Sorry, Maris Vanderpool Primary School right there. In first place, Maris Vanderpool Primary School took home the first. Followed by, let's see. Aurelia Keller Primary School took home the second place, followed by Adrian T. Hazel Primary School in third place. Don't know if we'll be able to get on over to the other riders. We'll try to take a detour to try to get to them. We don't know if it will be possible, but um, we're trying to see if we can find uh, the other riders. So the line out is um, first place, Maris Vanderpool Primary School, followed by Aurelia Keller Primary School, followed by the Adrian T. Hazel Primary School. And we're not certain who would have gotten a uh, fourth place. We're trying to see if we can get across to see who have gotten fourth place. No sign of the riders. So we aren't quite sure who have gotten fourth place. We don't know if it's He's behind of us, ah, he's in front of us. We got some up there. Please. 
on the way. Every every participant we are asking you to go to the, the starting line. All the participants for the girls, Albina Lake Heart Comprehensive School Relay. Albina Lake Heart Comprehensive School Relay. So disregard. There's one more rider who still has to cross the finish line. So here he comes. He's about 160 meters away from the finish line. But he's going to finish. He's going to finish. We're asking those persons who are crossing the road, can you please move out of the road? There's one more rider that is on his way to the finish line. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, bring him home. So that concludes the BMX Ringy Boys. You gotta get the chain here, but I don't know what it's up to. Oh, 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 Because are you ready? Because are you ready? I am not biased today. I'm yes, you are. Because. Yes, you are. You are about as biased as a duos. So we are waiting the start of the girls Albina Lake Hodge Comprehensive School. Two, two more races? Yeah, go again. So I'm going to shout out for all the other houses since Pink House had representation by uh, the unbiased official. So I'm going to shout out to the Maroon Dragons. I'm also going to shout out to the Orange Tigers, the Yellow Hornets, the Purple Lions, Let's go. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Alright. Here comes the winning team. I'm sorry, I have to call it as I see it. If they're the only house represented, it means that they won't be the winners automatically by default. However, however, I see orange in the house. I see maroon in the house. I see pink in the house. I'm waiting on uh, purple passion. Oh no, it's purple lions. There's a purple house scene for this. But they'll be here for the men.
for the boys. Sorry for calling. What to? Be any great self making noise. Alright, check. Y'all big enough, y'all know the rules, right? So sit and go, okay? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we're here starting the high school race. All right, so uh, here we go. Let's Set. go, Aris. Let's go, Aris. Go! Yeah. a female race for the high school into house uh, yellow in front followed by orange followed by maroon followed by pink only four runners right now Only four runners. I think we would be lacking one more runner, which would be purple. So there we have it. We have a yellow house in front, followed by a range. Pretty close gap between the two. As far as I could see, uh, the orange house runner, she's actually catching up to the first place runner, which would be yellow house. Yellow house, yellow house is a bit burnt. I don't know if she would be able to keep it up. I don't know if she would be able to keep it up, but um, yellow house. Our range is right on her. She's right there. So yellow and our range right besides each other. Yellow house, ladies and gentlemen, and orange house. Orange in front, yellow right behind. Slow down a bit just to show you guys the gap between first and second place. It's not a big gap. So, this is second place right here. Second place. Second place right here, ladies and gentlemen which would be Yellow House. So the lineup is orange, followed by... Uh, followed by yellow, followed by pink. And this is the first leg. First leg of this run. Yellow is actually trying to catch back up. I don't know if she will, but um, she's bridging the gap between the two. She's bridging the gap. So there you have it. Yellow in second. We'll be passing it on in second and orange in front. Yellow on it, also. So they are out and they are going around. So yellow right now and orange is back at it again. Yellow and orange is back at it again.
pretty fast tempo between these two young ladies right here. Yellow and orange, neck and neck with each other. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, yellow and orange, first and second, neck and neck with each other. I don't know if I will get a little bit of action here between these two runners. Who will give up first? Uh, if anyone would try to accelerate the pace off a little bit on the other. I don't know, but um, let's see how it goes. Our range right now, setting the tempo. Yellow, dropping back a little. Yellow is dropping back a little. The gap is opening. The gap is opening. So it's our range in front. Followed by yellow. So there we have it. Our range has just uh, stepped up her tempo a little on the yellow house runner. And uh, she's running away on her. Running away on our ladies and gentlemen. So there you have it, our range house, ladies and gentlemen, is in force, followed by um yellow house followed by um, pink we'll slow down a bit just to show you guys the gap between the two runners first and second The gap is gonna keep growing, the yellow. Yeah, I think the gap is gonna keep Seems growing between first and second. Um, I was trying to slow down to try to see if I could have shown you guys the gap, but I'll slow down a little closer to the finish. I'll slow down a bit closer to the finish just so you guys can see the gap between the two, the passing on of the baton. There you have it, first place, Arrange, passing on the baton right now to her teammate. She's passing it on to her teammate. Passing it on. There you have it, that's the handoff right there. Uh, Arrange House in front. We're gonna try to see if we could um, capture the second place runner which would be Yellow House. This is more than a hundred meters now. A teammate right now is trying to tell her, let's go. That's a very competent lead. She's pushing, she's pushing. And we're gonna take off with second place person right now. First and second. The first runner is already across, halfway across. So this is second place right here. We don't know if she will be able to hold a fast enough pace to catch up to uh, the first place runner, which would be Orange House.
okay well the orange house run out up there in front she's not going too fast so i think it would be possible to bridge the gap between the two i don't know how well of a runner she is to uh close this gap completely and pass her i don't know i won't underestimate her but um the orange house runner up in front of her is not so strong she's a bit tired her pace right now is looking pretty good but it's a big gap to close i don't know how strong she is but uh we'll see so orange is in front followed by yellow followed by pink Yeah, I know it's <laughs> Okay, she has gone up on the sidewalk trying to gain a little bit of edge. Trying to cut her corners a little to gain some ground on her opponent. Um, the gap is closing though. The gap is closing between the two runners. Let's see how good she is. If she can uh, possibly catch this girl in front, which would be Orange House. I'll go up to the orange house runner just to show you guys like her pace and how she's running. It's not pretty fast. I don't know if she have anything in the tank for finishing, but um, this is all right here. This is first place. This is first place right here, orange house. There you have it, Arrange House. First place, right behind her is her competitor. Right behind her is her competitor. Like I said, I don't know how strong her competitor is, if she can bridge the gap to give us a little bit of spice back in the race. We don't really like to see those races where one just run off on the others. We like to see a tight close race and that is exactly what Yellow House is trying to do for us right here today. This Yellow House runner is a pretty strong runner. She's catching up to her opponent right now. She's catching up to her opponent. There we have it. There we have it. She's right on her opponent's heel right now, ladies and gentlemen, coming around the bend to go to the finish. Uh, her fans and everyone else are cheering them both on. Here we have it, Yellow House in front, Orange right behind. The Yellow House runner is a pretty strong runner. She just took the lead, passing it on to her, uh, to her teammates. Okay, there's the pass. There's the pass. Okay. So as we said, a pretty competitive race here between yellow and orange. They are dinging it out between each other, first and second place. Orange is uh, trying to get back on in front. And yellow is actually in front right now. They'll be soon going neck and neck with each other. I don't know who is the strongest between the two, but our range has just passed the yellow house runner. She just passed her. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we have Yellow House right here. We are right here behind the Yellow House runner in second place. Our range house is in first place. Um, I don't know if the Yellow House runner have a little more kick inside of her because we like to see a bit of uh, competition between our runners. So if she could possibly step it up, which I don't know if she does have any more in the tank to step it up, that would be good. Even if she doesn't, uh, even if she doesn't step up a pace, we would like her to at least stay close, so that the next leg it would be a bit more uh, spicy for us. 
Uh, right now, Orange House is looking back at her opponent. She's looking back to try to see if uh, her opponent uh, was gaining ground. But as far as I can see, the Orange House runner is looking pretty good. So there you have it. This is first place right here. She's in front. Orange House is in front, followed by uh, Yellow. Followed by Pink. We won't be able to see the Pink House runner, but the Pink House runner is in third place. place right here ladies and gentlemen she's in front our range house we're gonna slow down a bit just to show you guys a gap between the two slowing down just to show you the gap between the two runners the gap has opened pretty wide between the two but we will slow down There you have it. Uh, this is Yellow House right here, ladies and gentlemen. She's in second, but the gap has opened uh, pretty wide between first and second. I don't know if we would have such a competitive race again because uh, Yellow House uh, lost a bit of ground. But let's see how it ends. She's holding a pretty steady pace, but uh, it's not enough to catch back and uh, pass her opponent. There you have it, uh, second place, which would be Yellow House. Yellow House in second. There you have it, Yellow House, second place. Orange House is already up at the Valley Primary School right now. That's the gap between the two. She's passing on the baton right now, but Orange House is actually uh, up at the Valley Primary School right now. So we are here for the pass on. You are asked to report to your Orange House. Here for the pass on, ladies and gentlemen. We want to see how strong this Yellow House runner is. If she can actually uh, close this gap, uh, even pass her opponent in first place, which would be Orange House. She has one of her, uh, her teammates running with her, trying to motivate her, keep the tempo up. By the looks of this, she's actually closing the gap. Seems to me uh, the runner that ran the first leg for Orange House is running this leg again. Which I think this would be the last leg. This would be the last leg. So uh, seeing as Yellow House has the fresher runner, even though the gap is a bit big, I don't know if she'll be able to catch up. Let's see. This is Yellow House right here, second place, Orange House in force. Pace is slowing down a bit. I don't think it would be possible for her to catch back up right now, but she will maintain her second place. I think we could comfortably say Orange House will be uh, taking this one here home today. 
I think we would be able to confidently say that our orange house will be taking this one home today. We'll try to speed up to get to the first place runner right now, ladies and gentlemen, which would be orange house. This is the gap between the two runners trying to get you to uh, our first place runner right now. This young lady here has ran two legs. This is the last one right now, ladies and gentlemen. She's looking back to see if her opponent is gaining on her, but uh, she can comfortably say that she's coming first today. Our range house. She won't be able to catch back. Yellow house won't be able to catch back. We have advisors telling her they want her to beat her opponent by far. I know she's a bit tired, but uh, she's running pretty strong still. Yellow House won't be able to catch her, ladies and gentlemen. We'll comfortably say that our uh, orange house will be taking home this one today for the girls. Our orange house will be taking home this one for the girls today. Our orange house, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. This is our orange house right now. Just to let you guys know, this young lady ran two legs. She actually ran the first leg, and now she's finishing the last leg. This is our range house right now. The our range house spectators could start to rejoice right now. This is it, this is it. And here we have it. Here we have it. So we're waiting right now at the line to try to see if we could uh, give you a little bit of coverage at the second place runoffs. Yellow house. Yellow house. The yellow hornets. He has about uh, 70 meters now to complete. But look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at a giant of Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're right now waiting for uh, second place to come in. This is Yellow House right now. Yellow House right now. Yellow House, second place. Pink House coming in for third. There you have it, Pink House. A beautiful run here. A beautiful run. Yeah, that's our victory slipper. Summer. So the lineup right now, it was uh, Orange House first, uh, Yellow House second, Pink House third, and uh, Five laps again. All right, guys. Five laps again. 
Once again, the Angola Cycling Association will be having a Royal Rumble on the Reverend Carty Highway at the Northern Road on that back stretch of Tarmac next Sunday at 1.30. Just starters, just the starters. Now you now it's the first back on. And the second pattern goes through. The second pattern goes through. Yellow! Pika Yokes! And then we have orange Yokes. Yes, yellow, yellow, where's the yellow red? There's yellow. Yellow is here. Yellow is in purple, black. Purple, come purple. Purple, purple. Purple. Find your way to the starting line. Who's starting for purple? Who's starting for purple? Mario. All right, guys. You all know what you have to do. As hard as you can. And come first. Even if you're behind somebody, come first. All right? So. Ladies and gentlemen, a bit of a late start, but um, we're walking our way right now for the boys race. Albina Lake Arch Comprehensive School race uh, into Color House. So right now we have all the runners together. We know that the boys race will be a bit more exciting because uh, I know men are more competitive. But let's see how it goes. So there we have it, uh, orange, followed by maroon, followed by pink, followed by purple, followed by yellow. Purple House is stepping up his tempo a little bit. Let's see if he can um, connect back in with the boys. Yellow House is trying his best to stay there. He's keeping a pretty good tempo, but the guys in front are imposing a pretty hard pace. All right, so Yellow House has just left from the back, coming up to fourth place. Um, The young man on orange house, he's actually walking away from these guys. He's walking away from a uh, pink house. He has some pretty good strides, but they are, it's a bit slow. We don't know if he will be able to connect back in. Let's see. We won't underestimate any one of the runners because we know guys are pretty competitive. Let's see how this goes. This is Pink House right here. So right long side Pink House. Right long side Pink House. We are trying to walk our way right up um, to the front now. We're gonna show you who's in second and who's in first. This right here is a uh, Maroon House. This is Maroon House right here, second place. Closely behind of uh, a range house, which would be the first place runner. So the lineup is orange, followed by maroon, followed by uh, pink, followed by yellow. Yellow is right next to a uh, pink house runner. So actually, a uh, yellow house runner is looking pretty strong. I'll slow down a bit right now to show you guys the yellow house runner. Pretty interesting. He started out in the back. Right now he's walk he have walked his way up. In the back, he's right now in third place. Trying to bridge the gap between himself and Maroon House, ladies and gentlemen. Trying to bridge the gap. This is Yellow House right here. 
Okay, so Maroon just passed it on. Yellow has just passed it on. We like the look of this yellow house runner, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how strong he really is. For right now, his pace is looking pretty good. Let's see how much he can keep it. Uh, if he can just sprint cross past the Maroon House Runner. Let's see how good he is, ladies and gentlemen. He's a pretty good runner. His pace is looking pretty good. We don't know how well he can keep it. Uh, Maroon is actually trying to catch up with uh, the opponent in front. Uh, he started out pretty spicy, but right now uh, his pace is uh, slowing right down. We don't know if he'll be able to catch back up, but um, Pink House is gaining on him for sure. Pink House is gaining on him. This Pink House runner right here is looking pretty strong. He's right alongside him. Neck and neck. Pink House just took over. Okay, Yellow House right now is a bit burnt, but um, he's sticking in there still. Sticking in there. That's it, lift them in. Lift the heels, lift the heels. Pink House right, right there. Pink and yellow, pink and yellow. Pink and yellow. Uh, pink house runner right now he's grown in a bit he's grown in a bit i know it's a hard run for him but he's looking good i know he did a lot of work to try to bridge that gap there between himself and his opponent in front of him and he has done a tremendous job in uh closing the gap and actually passing his opponent so he's now in third place yellow house was in third place he took the third place and right up ahead of him is actually uh, his two opponents for first and second. We don't know if he'll be able to close this gap, but um, he's a pretty good runner. He did a good job trying to close back in this gap. We don't know if he could give a little extra kick just to bridge this gap. We don't know if he will give us a little extra. We would love to see him kick a little bit to see if he could bridge this gap a little more. We don't know if it would be possible, but we would love to see him. Yellow House right now. Yellow House right now is coming. He's balling. He's saying he can't do it, but he just gave a little kick. He just gave a little kick. Spectators was cheering him on, trying to tell him, go, go, go. But he's balling. He's saying that he cannot do it. I think he can. He's a pretty strong runner. Let's see how well he's given up. He's given up, ladies and gentlemen. He's given up. Let's hope that when the Yellow House pass him, he'll try to connect there. No, he's not. No, he's trying his best to catch back in. Pink House is trying his best to catch back in, ladies and gentlemen, and he's closing it back. This is the type of racing we love to see. We love to see this type of racing, ladies and gentlemen. This is the type of racing we love to see. Here we have it. Here we have it. The pass on between pink and yellow. Pink and yellow. Pink and yellow. Pink and yellow. And just so you guys know, this is for third place. It's not first and second here. It's third. These two runners are fighting for third. Okay, so the lineup right now is Maroon House in front, followed by uh, Orange, followed by Pink and Yellow. From the looks of this, I think the pink house runner will be able to catch this uh, orange house runner. Maroon house is uh, walking his way to the town, the roundabout, just above by Ken. Not too far in front of the guys, but um, I don't know if they will be able to close him back in. Not underestimating any of the runners. Let's see what they have. But so far, Maroon is in front, followed by Orange, followed by uh, Pink, followed by Yellow. Let's see how this race will end. 
Let's see how it will end. So far right now, Maroon House is in front, followed by Orange, followed by Pink, and Yellow right alongside of him. Right alongside of him. Yellow House striding a little bit right now, trying to walk away from his opponent and gain on top of his other opponent, which would be Orange House. Pink House is bound right now, but we won't underestimate the Pink House runner. We won't underestimate any of our runners. Spectators are cheering him on because he's gaining grounds on his opponent. Uh, right now, Yellow House is trying to walk his way up to the second position. He's walking his way up to the second position. Let's see how strong he is, if he can do it. So right now, the lineup, ladies and gentlemen, is Maroon House, followed by Orange House, followed by Yellow, followed by uh, Pink. He closed the gap a bit, but um, I don't know if he will be able to get by past him or even get even more closer to him. Let's see. Like I told you guys, not underestimating any of the runners. Pink House is coming back in the house again. Pink is coming back in the party. Yellow is catching his opponent, which would be second place, Orange House. Pink House is right there trying to catch back in to come in the party. We don't know how good he is, but uh, we're not underestimating any of them. Okay, Yellow House just kicked it up a notch a little bit. He just picked it up a notch. So let's see, let's see. This is the type of racing we love to see, ladies and gentlemen. A bit of a slip up there, a bit of a slip up. But this is the type of racing we like to see. This is the reason we like to see. Okay, there's the pass on. A bit of a slip up for uh, Orange House. There was a slip up, but uh, Orange House is right behind. The same runner that did the first leg for Orange, he's doing the last leg right now. Let's see how well he can do it. So right now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a uh, maroon house still in force, followed by yellow, followed by orange. Right behind of orange is pink house coming right on him. Seen as uh, I think everyone else would be much more fresh. I think orange house runner would have to do a little more work, a little more effort. We don't know how good he is. Won't underestimate him. Let's see. Okay, so there we have it. Orange House is um, closing the gap a little bit on his opponent, which would be second place, Yellow House. Um, Pink House just dropped back. Pink House just dropped back. He's suffering a bit. We could see the, the pain in his eyes. But um, this Orange House runner, he's a pretty good runner. We must see. He ran the first leg and he's running the last leg right now. He's a good runner. Is this the last leg? Yeah. So this is the last leg, ladies and gentlemen. This is the finish right here. We have our range house um, in third. We have pink house in fourth, yellow in second, um, and maroon house in first place. So this right here is Yellow House, ladies and gentlemen. This is your second place uh, runner right now. This is your second place runner. And right up ahead of him is his opponent, which would be Maroon House. Seeing as this race is so close, we'll stay a little bit behind of the first place runner just to see if we get a little bit of action to the finish. This young man right here, he's suffering. He's 
He's suffering, ladies and gentlemen. He's grinning, but he's trying his best. He's trying his best. He's trying his best, ladies and gentlemen. Spectators is telling him to breathe, to breathe. Some is telling him to lift his heels, but I know it's a oh, You know how it could be. And right behind of him is Arrange House. So Yellow House for second place, Maroon House for first place, and Arrange House is right behind. Arrange House is trying to give a little kick. Let's see if he can close this gap between the two. It's a close gap between the two. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't know who will get it. Oh, it's a close one. And there we have it. Okay, it's a pass on. We, we thought it was the finishing, but it's not. It is not the finishing. We thought it was the finish. So here we have it. It's not the finishing, actually. We thought it was. We thought it was the finish, but it's not the finish. So Maroon House is still in front, um, followed by these two runners right here. He and what, orange, right? Yeah, that's orange, yeah. yeah okay. Okay, so... try to get the finish with maroon. So, ladies and gentlemen, it tripped me a bit with the black shot, but uh, that's actually orange right there in front. And uh, we have maroon house in front, which would be first place. So, this right here is uh, orange house. We have yellow house in third. And we're going to try to walk our way up to first place to show you how he's looking. So we made a mistake thinking that it was the finish, but it was not the finish. So let's see how it goes. But Maroon House is maintaining their force. Still looking good. Still looking good. Okay, so there you have it. This is Maroon House right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is your first place runner right now. We are right up in the front. This is it right here, ladies and gentlemen. This right here is your uh, first place runner right now. I don't think they will be able to catch him. For the gap that he had, I don't think they will be able to catch him. So, for my predictions, I think we could comfortably say that Maroon House will be taking home this one today. Okay, he has just stepped it up. He has just stepped it up, ladies and gentlemen. He just stepped it up just stepped up his face his teammates his, his teammates is cheering him on his teammates is cheering him on definitely be able to take it home with this face Yellow orange house sorry will be gaining some ground on top of him, but um he will be able to take it home today. Okay, so yeah, just picked it back up. He just stepped back up his face to the finish. Just stepped it back up to the finish right here. Here we have your first place uh, runner right now, Maroon House. And there you have it, Maroon House for force. Maroon House for force. Then we have our range house coming in right now. That's our range. That's our range. We have yellow house coming in. Orange ran a very good race. Very strong. Very good finish. Having a strong finish with both dogs. Here comes yellow house. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, Yellow House for Todd. And then we have Pink House coming in. 
Here we have Pink House coming in. That's it, Pink House, fourth. Congratulations on a very well run. And so we only now are just awaiting the arrival of uh, House. Yes. Which house? The house that are not just the private Yellow clients, house? but they also said purple pride. Oh, purple, okay. So we're going to play just a little thing. Lots of style in the house. He's somewhere out there on his way in. So ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the Albina Lake Hodge Comprehensive School Boys, Ashley, Road Relay. We'd like to also thank Miriam Sounds for producing the song this afternoon. We want to say a big thank you to one and all, and this is not to leave out anybody, but in all of it, we want to give a big shout out to Almighty God who has given us a wonderful afternoon. We will enjoy our athletic event one more time. So ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, here comes Purple and it brings down the curtain on this race. Well done to all our athletes. Congratulations to every single one of them and also to those who have won their event. And ladies and gentlemen, the last event for this afternoon, don't carry the children anyway. 
it's actually the prize giving ceremony because the athletes will be collecting their prizes, their trophies before they leave. So in front of the Ashley building, there are the prizes for the athletes. Officially, gonna be going down at the North Hill Back Road, also known as the Reverend C. Leonard, Reverend Leonard C. Carthy Road in North Hill. So we gonna have our categories such as elites, masters, A and B. We also got females and novices gonna be taking part in this race here in Angola on the 19th of March. Also gonna be up my Martin Riders as well. They're gonna be coming over, so it's gonna be a great showdown this next Sunday, the 19th. Make sure they are not Hill Back Road, Angola Cycling Association. You know, we just do the things. Nice. Thank you. 
started. So we're gonna start with the girls road relay in first place.
and in first place, Valley Primary School. Thank you. So we now move to the girls bicycle relay. In, in third place, Aurelia Kelly Primary School. Round of applause, please.
So that is it for the primary schools for the Albina. Do we now have the Albina Lake Hodge Comprehensive School of the Houses? I hope they're all here represented. In third place, Pink House. This is girls. Pink House, girls, third place. to four. 
Maroon House Boys. Sorry, I didn't say second. Orange, Orange House. <laughs> Orange House in second place. Orange House, Orange House. Didn't mean to forget you. Thank you, everybody. 